Hello out there in YouTube land. Old Lugnuts here with an unboxing quick look-see at a pair of Shooter's earmuffs. A pair of Howard Light electronic earmuffs that I got from Amazon for when we're out at the uh, shooting range. So, as you can see, you got a Amazon box much bigger than it needs to be. So, you just got to... Amazon sometimes will give you a little bit more than what you need for packing type stuff, so. Kind of open it up. What we got here? As you can see, it's more air than anything else, but. Right, let's see what we got here. A lot of bubbly stuff to scare the neighbors and the cats. Obviously paperwork and well I actually bought it more for my wife so it's a Amazon's got that little a gift from so and so. You're gonna get a little reflection from the light above the uh, the table here so apologies for that. I'll try to remember to kind of keep it tilted for when I need to. But this is a pair of check out the outside box. Howard Light Impact Sport electronic earmuffs. These are like uh, noise canceling after a certain decibel. So you should be able to talk normally but when there's a report of like over 80 some odd or 90 decibels or whatever they kick in the uh, filter mechanism to uh, kind of cut out the report so can't remember exactly what I paid for these I think it was around uh, maybe uh, $34 or, or something like that uh, your pricing may vary depending on where you get it uh, most reviews give this a, a pretty good review there's one or two that have been uh, a little so-so, uh, um, but I guess it's one of the things where, you know, short of spending about 150 or 200 dollars for some of the more electronic, uh, fancy ones I've seen for, you know, under 40 bucks or whatever, um, don't think you can go wrong. I guess it's you know better than nothing. That's for toot and sure. So Howard Light Impact Sport electronic earmuffs, noise reduction rating 22 decibels. And I'm going to bring it up. I don't know if this uh, the old flip focuses that quick, but it's model R-01526, and that's with my uh, questionable eyesight as well. So if we open it up, and of course, opening these up is always a kind of a questionable thing. This. It looks as though it would be fairly easy with these serrated edges, but never is. I've actually got a pair of regular Howard lights, kind of came in the same box, so it does include a couple of uh, AAA batteries, uh, Duracell copper tops, just for brand recognition, so it's better than some of the uh, the cheaper ones that you get, which are always going to be a, a little uh, you know if you, you get a day's use out of them I guess you're doing good so plastic kind of pops right out and for the most part I don't think you'd really need to hang on to the plastic stuff after that but there is a pair of external uh, cords uh, here so if you want to plug in a uh, like an iPod or something like that while you're shooting or driving or just don't want to listen to your spouse when you're in the car or something like that so they kind of a folding design so they are compact as well so when you're done you just kind of fold them up the uh, headband is padded. It's good good spring tension. So and uh they're obviously a, a thin design as you can see. Kind of seem to be flexible. Now one thing obviously if you wear glasses like I do, 
Um, you're going to have a little bit of an issue with the glass, your glass frame over these, but what are you going to do? Either you don't wear glasses or, um, you know, you kind of spend some super money or whatever if you can find somebody that makes inserts with, uh, you know, in the, uh, the rubberized earmuffs, but it's never going to be perfect, so you just find the best that's going to work for you and go from there. So, there's one of the speakers on each side. It's got a volume control. There's also an, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's also an off and then you can set your volume at that point. Now one thing if you're a shooter is when you wear this is the tip is, let's say this is your head, let's say this is your nose don't have the speakers pointing to the front of your nose. That's where you're shooting, because that's where you're going to get the the most report. Turn them around so the speaker is behind you, and you, you'd be looking this way. Because if you've got a range instructor or anything, he's going to be behind you, and you can pick up his uh, words or anybody that's down, uh, you know, left and uh, right at a, a shooting range a lot easier. So, uh, kind of a tip that I've, you know, found from some other people is obviously the plug for external use for iPods or, I'm an Apple guy, so uh, iPods or stuff like that. If you get an Android or other Windows or stuff would probably work just as well. But uh, Impact Sport and the, the inside liner seems to be uh, pretty good material. Um, this is not super cushy. It does feel as though there is a little bit of a, a give, so I wouldn't say that this is top quality foamy insert. But uh, normally after every couple of years or so, you'd probably want to pull these out, and you can probably get rebuild kits to keep these from getting too brittle or too hard on you. So obviously there's the cord that runs from left to right. Well, they fold up there. There's a couple of little clips at the at the bottom there. Obviously, they kind of slide in there. So I don't know. Maybe if you've got like a, uh, a closet or something, you might be able to make yourself a little hook and have these hang from a closet if you don't keep them in a range bag or something of that sort. So, uh, but they look to be for the price um, pretty decent. And uh, let's see, probably the easiest way to get at the battery cover, which I'm guessing is going to be under here without looking at the, uh, you know, the instructions, because there's obviously no other spot there. And that's going to be the hardest thing, is it kind of just pops right up, because uh, you don't have a lot of space to, to work in there. Kind of... See if we can get the batteries in there kind of quick for you. And there is a little plus and minus indicator in there and plus to minus on that side. Reverse it for the bottom one. cover kind of goes, snaps in. It's not a very super sturdy snap, but obviously it's pretty basic, so. And then volume, obviously you're not, it's not like speakers or anything like that, but there you go, they pop in pretty good. Probably good if you've got a range bag, like I said, keep one spare triple A's. Um, I have a lot of rechargeable batteries, so um, I usually keep a, a supply of rechargeables on hand, so those should go and do quite nicely. So, there you have it. Howard Light Impact Sport Electronic Earmuffs. My pricing was under 40 bucks. Your pricing may vary. If you're a shooter or you go into sports that have um, heavy sound uh, issues or whatever, you know, you only got one set of ears protect them pretty much like your eyes if you don't hey it's your own fault thanks guys